Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Binding of Isaac Repentance, where now we are ready to unlock Tainted Lilith. Interestingly, I actually had the idea to unlock Tainted Lilith today, but I was like, you know what, I'm just going to pick random again because I like picking random, but if the game really wants me to play as Lilith for once, then who am I to say no to that? So that's exactly what we're going to do. Finally, we're playing Lilith in a non-greed mode fashion, which I think is exciting because it's just rare. <laughs> it doesn't seem to happen very frequently. It's it's our first time. Now you fully get to experience what it's like to be Lilith in a mode where you don't get 100 followers every single floor, but instead you're more or less stuck with the one. There are certain items that work a little bit differently on Lilith, like the cursed eye not teleporting you around and... Tech 2 apparently not working, uh, as we realized the previous attempt of playing Lilith. It is a little tempting to once again try and skip one item room and just get that on the way back. Um, but there is also instances like that where I don't really know how to handle some of the rooms. <laughs> um, and as such, I may take some damage here and there, which one could call odd, but I'm gonna try to avoid that as much as possible. I also decided to use my box of friends in this room for uh, panic-related reasons, I would say. So hopefully my decision-making so far isn't going to lead in to um, disastrous consequences. But there's really only one way to find out. I'm destroying all these barrels in case, uh, for the most part, in case there's a trapdoor underneath it, really. And since I don't really care too much about how much time I'm spending in this run, I... Uh, I can just do sort of whatever I want and just call it a day afterwards. The fact that the Incubus is behind you at all times is a little fiddly as well because it's, it's just a little annoying to have your shots be behind you at all times unless you move in specific ways. We don't really have money or bombs to afford anything here, which is unfortunate. And I am a little tempted to go for my item room right now, but that's only because, again, I'm, I'm more or less just a little frightened. Lil Horn's not too bad. I'm hoping once again that Lil Horn just runs into a flame or destroys himself in some other way. Lil Horn has a lot of interesting ways where he can end up destroying himself after all, so it would be nice if he'd stop throwing balls and instead just do what he usually does, which is throw bombs and hurt himself. There we go. Just a little bit more into the flame, please. I suppose if you just shoot balls into the flame, that's fine too, but it's still... I feel like this is more work than I should have to put into this boss. I'm just not used to it anymore. But I suppose that's fine. Occasionally, I will just try and shoot the boss instead of hoping that the boss destroys himself. Surprised that the ball managed to navigate around that flame there, but fair enough. Yeah, Little Horn's just not throwing a bomb. That's actually fairly unusual. It's rare that he doesn't just throw bombs all over the place and destroy himself because that's 99% of my instances when fighting this boss. There we go, he's doing the thing. There you go, that's a classic Lil Horn experience and I can appreciate that. Alright, we got a black heart, we got some bombs, so that's actually really nice. Um, I can probably go into the secret room which is almost certainly there. I can blow up this, I can blow up this, I don't actually mind this too much. Oh, kinda wish I took that before destroying all those rocks, but you know what, fair enough. Uh, that's not great. And I guess if I blow it up here, there's a chance that I can also get like a slight amount of money. Oh wow, so much for 33% chance to drop a coin when you get that many coins out of it. I guess it can still be 33%, but still, it seemed like a lot of money. Maybe these shopkeepers are nice. There we go. We can use that to buy one more soul heart. And might as well destroy these poops while we're at it as well. Get a little bit more money that way. I kind of want to destroy this one, but I can see myself getting hurt. Fortunately, it went a little bit better than expected. And there is a decent chance my super secret room is over here as well, so might as well give that a shot while we're at it. A lot of red hearts today, with a character that has one red heart container at the present moment. Yeah, let's just take that and move on. I will this time also attempt not to uh, 
make full card related shenanigans mistakes happen and I, c I can believe that'll happen. You may also have noticed that the matchstick was in the bottom left of that room, room rather, uh, because we picked up the uh, max matchbox, I guess. And that means we no longer have to worry about cracked keys because uh, there will just be a cracked key available for us at the end of this run. So that is good as well. Um, so with that in mind, let's just move on. A lot of red spiders, not great. Hoping to at least this time get a planetarium. I won't skip any more item rooms in this um, because I feel like it's just not a great idea. I kinda, I do think I need a build with this character. Using the box of friends in big rooms seems like a decent idea. And if I can get like a nine volt battery or something like that, then it would be an even better idea. Another great trinket would also be something along the likes of um, the trickle charge battery because then I can also just use this item in big rooms without worrying about it too much. The lucky rock though is not bad at all since everything that you could hypothetically call a rock is a rock for this character so I think even pots count in that regard and they'll occasionally drop some extra stuff that is little gish which in most instances isn't too interesting but with this character simply because of that box of friends does make it a little bit more exciting. Same goes for stuff like Lil Brim and stuff like that. Simply just having more followers around does make life a little bit safer. Or at least it feels a little bit safer to my, uh, to my knowledge. So let's try and make this as safe as possible. We'll have a charge of the box of friends available for the boss fight, which is obviously rather nice. Monstro, fair enough. With Lil Gish as well, that's going to slow him down a bit, which is nice. And if we can just get all of our followers to attack him as much as possible, then this boss will die with relative ease. I'm probably going to skip Devil Deals again, uh, just because I love me some Angel Rooms. Uh, simultaneously, though, I'm not sure if I love that idea. Because there is also the Lil Brim, as I said, which can be really good, but... Nah, well. Speed up, luck down, fair enough. Puberty, not terrible. So, so far a pill pool is okay. I don't love experimental pills because they can obviously have rather adverse effects and you can't really guarantee that they're good unless you have like a lucky foot or something like that. So, in a lot of instances it can be kind of tricky. If these enemies could all just blow up these random rocks here, that would be actually kind of nice. And they are helping out a bit because every one of those can give me some money as well. So that's obviously rather nice. Uh, if you could blow up, like, somewhere over there, I'd like you to basically be dead next to that wall. That would be ideal. Eh. But I need you to not run away so quickly. Because I want you to be there. There we go. <laughs> How to not spend bombs. It is, uh, it can be tricky, but it can lead to just having that one extra bomb available for, uh, whatever you might need, so would say it's worthwhile to at least try and go for it. We're almost at 15 coins, so the shop is getting a little bit more tempting. If need be, I can destroy those pots as well, and then uh, we can definitely guarantee at least one coin, because there was one coin next to them, so that could be good. Not sure what I'd like to have from the shop, but anything that's like a map would be pretty nice, obviously. Uh, I'll just try and get this chest. I was mildly hoping for a super secret room as well, but you can't get them all. Well, I mean, I did say I wanted this, so <laughs> it makes a, it only makes sense that it appears immediately in my shop. After all, that is the way it goes with this uh, with this playthrough. After all, so I can only say thank you. That's a lot of coins for one bomb, but also the key, which was the main reason why I did that. And I think I'll skip the curse room. I don't know if I should. I actually have a stars card, so I might just teleport out after you going in here. Come on. There you go. And we get a soul heart back as well. So all in all, not the worst deal. Uh, we could take the remaining pill. Uh, the remaining pill that's in my um, boss room is the one makes you larger, which I don't care about too much. I'm putting that trinket in there as well, just in case I want to use a red key just for fun. I don't know if you really can get anything good in the Ascent, but 
I feel like it's worth trying at least. Um, and let's actually do this. I was kind of hoping for a super secret room, but... No, well. Hematemesis, three red hearts for the price of zero, so pretty good. Uh, thinking about which direction to go. Could just take it easy and just keep sticking on the current road simultaneously. I kind of like having practice for areas such as these, because at some point we're going to have to go here as Lilith anyway. It's kind of nice to just uh, get a handle on things in these downpour floors as well, obviously. Plus, I feel like on the way back they can be a little bit better as well. This is a little spooky though. But I think we'll manage. At least you can stay kind of far away with uh, every fight just because your attacks are... Eh, wherever you put them, really. They're just not where you are specifically, and that can be kind of nice on occasion. I should probably use the Box of Friends a little bit more than I currently am. Uh, simply because it does charge a little bit quicker now than it used to. If we could get the other battery as well, that would be really nice. The, uh, the one that retains your charge, because then we can have a lot of friends available for whatever difficult boss room comes our way. But for a room like this, I don't mind it too much. Just to speed it up a little bit, just to not have to worry about the many things in the room. And just to, the more tears we can shoot at a time, the safer life is going to be as well. That's half a soul heart in a poop, so never unhappy about that. Uh, we can get that as the loss, so I don't need to spend a key on that, which is good. I'm not sure uh, if I want to do the boss as the loss as well, but could end up being pretty useful. The curse room is available, though I would like to have like a teleport uh, card available or something like that just to make it a little bit safer for myself. I need to... okay. I do actually kind of need to get used to using those flames to destroy those flies as well, actually, because it is a very effective way of dealing with the danger that those flies create, so... should probably practice a little bit more along those lines. Like, for instance, doing this. <laughs> It's it just it's like it just means I don't have to aim as much, and I think that's probably worthwhile. Uh, I'm just gonna go in here to check out if my secret room was gonna be next to the curse room. I doubt it's going to be. I kind of think it's underneath this room instead. But there's a couple different places I feel where it could be, because it could be on this side, but it could also be here. Theory? No, it cannot. Never mind. It can only really realistically be there. Although it could also be to the left over here. So there's some options. Let's just explore a little bit more before we make our choice on that. Uh, this room also not too bad when you have large quantities of tears taking care of most of the things. Because it does take a minute for enemies to actually go towards you if you don't open up everything immediately. So, nothing too horrible there. We instantly get our charge back, which is nice. Uh, Evil Eye. I'm not sure if Evil Eye works on this character. Which... Uh, I'm gonna just try it, but... I, I wouldn't be surprised if Evil Eye doesn't act... Okay, it does work. Okay, that's actually really nice then. Because Evil Eye isn't terrible. It's, it's alright. So it would be nice to uh, be able to use that here and there. I'm getting the sensation that the secret room is almost certainly above here. Simply because of the layout of this room in particular. And while I do have a couple bombs to play with, because I do have those bombs still available that I can get as the lost, uh, I'd rather not risk it too much. So instead, let's just put it over here. There you go. That's a secret room right there. We can increase our devil deal chances by a little bit by blowing up the shopkeeper. Or angel room, rather. And that's probably about as much as we can do for that, really. I could go to my shop real quick. Which I don't mind. I don't mind having, like, uh, the angel key pieces available to just increase my angel room chances. And for that, I would need one more um, bomb, which we can get over here. I strongly regret my choices there, uh, as I just saw 
<laughs> what item was for sale there. Uh, I need 15 coins for that. If I don't use a bomb, or I just get that coin and blow up my donation machine, then I can at least afford that. That would be really good. Wormwood, not too terrible, but I do remember now that I have to move immediately. Because occasionally this boss is mean. You're not really seeing the effect of the evil eye right now, unfortunately, but... I'm hoping that it's going to pop up every now and then. Maybe if we get, like, piercing shot or something like that, that would be really nice. Because it's mostly just a tear that just slowly moves forward and attacks a little bit. And I'm hoping that is going to have some effect here and there. But yeah, that, that item for sale in the shop, I really want that, because that's going to increase my damage by a lot. No, I didn't get an angel room, unfortunately. Um... Wormwood isn't the scariest boss. I'm actually a little tempted to um, do the uh, altern- well, go into the mirror world, really. Also a little tempted by my curse room, but like not quite enough to risk it, really. I could try to find a little bit more money on the rest of this floor as well. I could just blow this up. That'll probably do. I got one coin out of that. I really only need one more coin, and I should be able to get that. Um, I'm gonna blow this up as well. Actually, where's my super secret room? I actually have no idea. I think there's a couple places where it could be, and I don't really want to risk that, so... Let's instead blow this up. Get one more coin. I mostly also did that for the blue flame, in case that gave me something good. But this is going to make my familiars large, and that is just very good. This is my main source of damage that just became better, so obviously that's rather nice. Uh, that's not great. <laughs> that doesn't really work in my current form. But I think I am willing to try and explore this floor a little bit more at least. Uh, hoping that I don't make any silly mistakes here, but so far... Now that I've gotten a little bit of practice in this run with Lilith, it seems to be going okay. So hopefully we can keep that energy going. Plus with the effectively double damage that we're dealing right now, that's obviously not too terrible either. Uh, I need to watch out for this a little bit though. <laughs> Don't like that when that happens. I think I'm just gonna specifically try and go for Wormwood and then leave. Yeah, that doesn't sound like a terrible idea. Once again, move down to the bottom immediately. That seemed to work out pretty well last time. And let's see how much quicker we can beat this boss now, because as you can see, we are dealing significantly more damage this time around. Which is obviously rather good. Come on. Any day now. I didn't know that he could actually attack that frequently, but fair enough. Yeah, Wormwood's just dead already. That's a health up, not bad. Do I care about anything else on this floor? I don't think I really do. Like, I could explore for just a bit more consumables here and there, which I don't mind the idea of. But I don't think I want to risk that. Do I? Nah. Let's just keep going. I'm happy enough to have at least have fought the boss, and with that, I think I can just leave. Our main goal currently still is to uh, fight the beast. It has been a minute since I fought the beast, but hopefully I still have a decent idea of how to do it. Aiming at the beast is a little bit more fiddly with this character, but the fact of the matter is we got... We have such good items for specifically this character right now, so... That's at least looking very good. Just that BFF on this character specifically is such a great item. So I'm very happy about that. Um, I'm still hoping for the Trickle Charge Trinket as well, but... We'll see how that is going to end up uh, working out. If we could find a backpack and the just the uh, the trinket box, like mom's box, then maybe we can get something in that regard. But I I might be asking for a bit much. It it has worked in the past to just ask for everything and I'll get it. But it it's not exactly a guarantee in this game, unfortunately. Decided to just get one more charge before going into this room because I can just recharge it instantly, as I've said many occasions. And looking for tinted rocks in this room as well, actually, but I'm not immediately seeing anything. Not even really looking at anything else other than rocks right now, because my build is more or less clearing this room out by itself, which is good. I got a key at least, which is not too bad. Uh, I don't think there's a tinted rock here, and if there is, 
I missed it, so my apologies if there is one. But I will simply move on. There's an item room over there. We have six keys, so might as well check it out. Our money situation's pretty rough, but not unusable. That's five more bombs, which I actually don't mind. My bomb count was pretty bad. I've had better item rooms for sure, but still, that's still acceptable. Tarot cloth could be good. I don't hate it, but I do need to find, uh, well, cards, I guess. That's really the main thing. Um, tempted to just blow this up. I'm kind of, I'm, I kind of want to look for flight first before I blow up things to try and get stuff over there. But if we can get some flight, that'd be lovely. I'd like to clear out that room for sure. I should also blow up a shopkeeper, probably, thinking about it. Because I think that would be a good way to get some more Angel Room chance. Not over there, interestingly enough. Which I could have predicted. <laughs> uh, it does kind of limit the amount of places where it could be, though. Uh, yeah. It's kind of a weird layout once again, but perhaps there is a room that just screams secret room. We'll see, I suppose. It wouldn't be the first time, after all. But for now, I'm just not going to focus on it and instead take some weird damage against some tiny monstros. Hematemesis, I could just carry that around, I guess. Wouldn't really hurt me too much in the long run, I would say. Little tempted by the curse room. But not like a whole lot. I just I feel like it could be okay. You never know with curse rooms, I suppose. It is a thin one, I think, if I saw the map correctly, but... Even a thin curse room is right twice a day, as they say. That's a lot of money. Okay, so that makes tarot cloth a little bit more interesting. Stars... Uh, I could just once again use this to teleport out immediately afterwards. Yeah, It's not a thin room either. I don't know where I was looking at to reach that conclusion, but fair enough. I was... This is a weird <laughs> room layout for stars, I'm realizing now. I got very confused when I saw that. Alright, tarot cloth uh, tower. <laughs> Could be good for the uh, beast fight, actually, to just have a lot of bombs fall down, but it's not ideal. <laughs> it is a large quantity of bombs that you're creating that way. One more black heart for the price of one bomb. I don't mind. I did say previously that I would like to look for flight before bombing things, and uh, here we are. But the thing, like, I, I do find black hearts, I guess, a little bit higher of a priority target than the, just one sack, I guess. So, you know, I had my reasons. Kind of want to blow up all these mushrooms for the sake of getting some more money as well. Maybe get an item that way, so let's just put that down there. That's not really what you'd call all the mushrooms so much as uh, some of them, but you know, it's, uh, it's fine. Fly is unfortunately not as good as they theoretically could be because I don't think the damage of my familiars changes my fly damage, unfortunately. So that's a shame. That's a secret room. That's a button. That's bad. It's a bad button, but there's also a shopkeeper over here, which I still needed to blow up, so it kind of works out in the end. Maybe this is like greed and gives me 50% off. Maybe it gives me two coins. Either way, it's pretty good. It's okay. Great room. A lot of pins. That's sneaky Pete. Um, I'm gonna try this. Huh. I don't. I do not know where my super secret room is. So let's just fight the stain instead. Currently not just using my box of friends just yet in case I want to use it against the angel fight. Provided we get an angel room, of course. It's not guaranteed, but the chances are pretty good right now. Provided I don't lose all my soul hearts in this fight against a not especially difficult boss. But I did manage to get hit in there, so fair enough. There's the angel room. There's Binky as well, which is going to increase my tier rate. That's also going to increase my tier rate. Um, I don't really have the... Um, the keys for this. I wouldn't mind a golden key, I guess. That'd be nice. That is an angel that is red. Not really much of an issue with this character when you have so many friends. 
I'm gonna open both chests once, I think. Well, I mean, it's not terrible. But... <laughs> not impressed. That's, I guess, the uh, conclusion of that story. I will actually... I don't have any bombs left. Ah. Right. That's a that's an issue. Kind of wanted to get that sack because... Yeah, uh, because it could be good, but... I think the only way for me to get that is by using this tower card... ...to, uh... ...spend a large quantity of troll bombs... ...to eventually blow up this one rock. Which I feel like is not worth it, but simultaneously... Tr ...the tower is a card that I hold forever, usually, so... ...let's just do this. There we go. Got two bombs back, got a key. Don't mind it, actually. So we have decent tier rate, we have decent damage. We have a box of friends that charges relatively quickly. I'm tempted to switch out this bomb for another key. And I will, actually, because with the guppy's tail, we're going to get a large quantity of golden chest, probably, as well. So realistically, I probably need more keys than I do bombs. So I, th I might just switch out every single bomb for a key that I can. Which might not be the best idea, but I, uh, it's probably gonna work out. Haven't seen a planetarium yet, unfortunately, which I wouldn't mind either. That would also require me to use one extra key as well. So hopefully we find something along the lines of that. Damage is okay. Uh, the evil eyes are a little bit fiddly to use, I'm realizing now, as they pop up occasionally and are pretty much instantly hitting a boss rather than really much of anything else. But, you know, occasionally they might work out. I'm, I'm genuinely not 100% sure how they interact with, like, piercing, but I'm sure that could be nice. Let's just do this, actually. Wow. <laughs> it sure is, uh, it sure is a bunch of treasures from those golden chests so far. I wouldn't have minded anything else, <laughs> realistically. But fair enough, we got a moon card. The moon card at least saves us a bomb. Uh, we can go into our curse room and then just teleport out. I could save it in case I hypothetically, potentially, accidentally use my fool card on the next floor by accident. Oh, that could actually be a thing. If I don't find any bombs at this point, which, fair enough, is unlikely, but it's not impossible then I cannot actually leave. So I guess I will keep this for now. If only to guarantee that we can actually teleport out of the mom fight. If we find some amount of bombs, then I'm less tempted to keep doing that, obviously. But as it stands, I don't hate the idea to just keep this for now. Just for a precautionary measure. Don't love this because my movement speed isn't great. And 0 0.4 speed down is pretty damn rough as well. I mean, we wouldn't have to break any more rocks with bombs, except for those spiky ones, I guess. But I don't think it's worth a third of my speed, really. So let's instead not do that. I'd really like, like, a Hagalaz rune, thinking about it. That would be lovely. For this room in particular, I'd get so much money out of that. That would be lovely. Which floor are we on? Depths 1? Mmm, yeah, fair enough. It's not, it's not just, it's just not a very exciting run so far, I feel. We could get a little bit more exciting, excitement into this, but we're not really getting consumables or chests somehow. We're, we're getting neither. We're getting a large amount of red hearts. And finally some bombs as well, which is good. Definitely a little bit more tempted to use this, uh, okay, now it's getting interesting. Uh, definitely not like a bad run in any means and we are at least getting some consumables sometimes but I'd love a little more there's a tinted rock over there with a key and a soul heart not sure where my secret room is I think there's some options if you could drop me like a regular heart that would be lovely the item oh the soul heart works as well I suppose and it's not like this fight cannot, like this build cannot beat the beast or anything, because I'm fully convinced that this build will win against the beast, but I just love a little bit more, you know? I'm not sure if 
the secret room is blocked there, but I'm gonna try it anyway because I have a couple bombs available. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Uh, could be here as well. Yeah, there you go. There's a couple of shopkeepers we can blow up, including one with money eyes. That's two soul hearts out of a gray chest. That seems unlikely, but fair enough. Also, I'm just going to go into this curse room because I have the health for it at this stage and I don't really need to. Ooh, two black sacks. Very good. Um, I mean, <laughs> got some bombs out of it, which is fair enough. Health up. Not bad. Yeah, definitely not bad. I'll take that. That's pretty much not even a health down in any way. So, I don't mind that. I could go for that golden chest that's currently still inside that room. I'd have to use a bomb for it, but that's okay. Yeah, I think I might go for that. Maybe that golden chest is gonna have the one extra damage up that I'd need to feel the remainder of confidence required to win this run. And if not, I'd, it'll be okay. We're gonna be okay. I'm sure of it. This is fiddly. <laughs> I don't love this at all. Oh, uh, no. Yeah, this is horrible. At least because we have the Cambion... I really need to look up the item, the item name for that thing. At least we have... <laughs> okay. <laughs> because we have the thing that gives us familiars when we take enough damage. We got a little Brimstone now, so I didn't even have to use a Devil Deal for that, which is obviously very good. Uh, being able to hold two cards is pretty great. Being able to have more batteries is pretty damn great as well. Hmm, I like both of these quite a lot, actually. But I think I'll just go for the charge, because it's just... It's a, just always good. <laughs> it's more or less always adequate for any situation. And I can appreciate that. If we somehow get eight more coins, which we could through that golden chest, or maybe pageant boy from the boss or something like that, then there is a chance that we can get the other one as well. Um, I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. We could definitely, if we really wanted to, get the remaining coins. Especially if I blow up that golden poop. It would cost me my last key, which I don't love the idea of. But it's technically probably possible. If you could just give me a bandage ball, then I'm actually really happy. That would actually just make my day. <laughs> So if you could just please do that, please, 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 ah. Because during the beast fight, that would guarantee the full bandage girl transformation. So that would have been lovely, but unfortunately it's not to be. Uh, I could go for the full key, I guess. Don't truly care too much about rosary that much, but I mean, it is a little bit better. It is the tears up after all, so it could... I'm, uh, our tears are capped, actually, so it's not even very good for that. Um, yeah, I guess I don't actually care for this at all. I have zero parts of the Seraphim transformation. I should grab the key, at least. <laughs> yeah, I don't care. I just don't care. Ooh, that's a point. There's some rocks here. I mean, I could just blow up the donation machine as well if I really wanted to. I need one more coin. I feel like my odds are pretty good if I just break some rocks. Where's the red chest in this room? Oh, there it is. Might as well. Yeah. Okay, so that means that I can buy the thing, which is good. We're going to be able to hold two cards, so even if I... Hypothetically, uh, use one of my cards by accident in the next floor, then at least we should still be able to have a backup. Which I'm feeling pretty happy about. That is the Ace of Clubs. Which is pretty much going to guarantee us a couple more bombs on the next floor, so things are looking pretty good. Things are looking okay. I am still a little sad that wasn't the bandage ball though, because that would... It's just one of those nice things to get out of the way. I should probably destroy these because we're going to get our bombs back anyway. So I might as well. Ace, another Ace of Clubs and an Ace of Diamonds. Hmm. Goodbye, Moon card. I don't know. I, I know that I'm playing a dangerous game. <laughs> but 
that's a lot of stuff. This, if we have like two big rooms, that could end up being really valuable. So I'm gonna try it. Ace of clubs first, I think. Yep. A lot of extra bombs. We get some extra coins out of this as well because of the rock that rocks that the troll bomb destroyed. So that's good. We get ten more coins. So ultimately, our money situation doesn't matter as much anymore. But you know what? Fair enough. And four coins because I panic used that. Also, at that stage, I already have money anyway. So whatever our shop may hold, I'm feeling confident that we can probably afford it. So that's fine. I was just checking, like, are we are we in time for the boss rush? And uh, this run has been going on for 32 minutes. So no, we we are not in time for the boss rush unless we get like um, the thing. The uh, Mama Mega in the shop, it's still technically possible. Game breaking bug is a little tempting uh, now that I realize that you can use it on uh, consumables as well. But I don't think I care that much about it. I should blow up the shopkeeper at least. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's just do it. Let's just go for it. Because I wasn't a well, I probably was aware, but I tend to forget that you can do this. And that it turns it into a different thing. Hermit is also interesting because it guarantees that we... Um, well, for one, it, it's a teleport, which is good. For two, even if we find greed by going into the shop now, it should still be a regular shop if we um, use that Hermit card in combination with the Tarot Claw. So that's pretty good. Uh, there's a three coin red card, which I, I mean, I felt like I had to. Uh, this is not bad, but I don't think it really affects us, so let's just buy this and see what we can get in here. That's not terrible. That's flight. Uh, I have six bombs. There is... a shopkeeper with coins in his eyes over here as well. And... Remember that thing I said about, oh, I have enough money for things, blah, blah, blah. You, I, that's what I said so confidently that one time. I should have just bombed in here. Pause. Mm, I don't care about the pause that much. I got some choices to make on this floor for sure. But first, we're just going to continue on with the remainder of this floor, I think. Before I start making any decisions, I'm going to take this devil card. Because I think I care about it a little bit more than I do the Two of Hearts. I have never in my life loved this room. It always makes me feel anxious. Even though it almost never goes wrong, it occasionally does. And then uh, and then whenever that happens, I can go, haha, that's why. <laughs> and that's a perfectly good reasoning strategy for sure. Try to destroy as many rocks as possible because I, I would like to have a bit more money, but we are getting there. But we also have the whole reroll thing going on that I'd like to do. A hierophant, sure. Oh, I should keep that actually. Um, I'm gonna bomb this for two fool cards. <laughs> uh, okay, I probably realistically only need one, but. I've been burnt before. It's been the, the wound is too recent, you see, and I, I don't want to risk it. But I think we're gonna be okay. I can teleport out of that curse room. Like Hierophant is gonna give me three soul hearts, which is really the only reason I'm not using it because we have that tarot cloth as well, so that's pretty good. Uh, I have one key, which I'm not loving, but that's the way it is when. Well, I was gonna say that's the way it is when you pick Guppy's tail, but realistically, I haven't used that many keys. We're just not getting that many either. Uh, and we're not really seeing any. It's just been a weird run. It's just been an odd one, I suppose. That's a battery bum, which I can blow up for more Devil Deal chance and maybe money. It's another key. I did say I wanted that effectively, so fair enough. Let's blow up a couple of these as well. One more coin. All right, so that's pretty much uh, guaranteed that I can get the um, flight, so that can be kind of nice for the ascent. Uh, we didn't have Mama Mega in my shop, unfortunately, but that's fair enough. And this fight shouldn't take too much longer. I'm ruining my timing a bit with little brim but it's working out 
get the negative for a little bit of a damage. Well, my damage is pretty much base damage. I was not aware of that. <laughs> uh, I'll take this, just one use, because I think that's not a bad idea. And Hermit out of there. Okay, so that's another red heart. It does make the two of hearts a little bit more tempting for sure. Uh, because I just have a large quantity of health, I can get both of these chests with a little bit more damage as well. And more keys. Suddenly everything's falling into place because now I can reroll this. Milk. Um, I think milk is like extra tier rate even if you're capped, but yeah, I'd rather just have something more interesting. That's not. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, that seems okay. That is what I'd call more interesting. It also sort of allows me to use Lil Brim a little bit more effectively because I have to charge anyway, so I'm hoping that I will. Simultaneously, the charge of Lil Brim, I'm realizing, is also not uh, the same. <laughs> It is not the same as Tech 10, it is significantly slower, and I will probably never use a little brim again. But in in the hypothetical situation that I charge up my attack beforehand, it could be okay. We can bomb into that challenge room, which I should. There is the library and the curse room still available. Uh, I could get that gray chest for good measure, but don't really need it. That's not bad. That's kind of worth it. Uh, is that trinket? Do I? I don't mind more keys. And I, I think we've reached the stage where money doesn't matter that much anymore, except for the next floor, I guess. So it could still be kind of worthwhile to. Yeah, I, little brim is not gonna get used anymore. <laughs> uh, choices, 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 choices. Uh, temperance. Oh, temperance. That's actually not bad. All right, let me think. I think I want this. I want to use this temperance machine. That's going to be two temperance machines as well. Uh, does this remove the eternal heart? Nope. All right, good. Let's just play this for a while. We have large quantities of red hearts on this floor. There we go. Look at how many keys you can get if you just hurt yourself significantly. There's a lover's card over here, which I'm guessing is going to give me a bunch of red hearts yeah Lovers. that's the stuff why don't you just give me the two blood bags as well and then we can call it a day that's not a blood bag that's a blood bag <laughs> all right so our speed is good now uh, which is genuinely making the thunder thighs a little bit more interesting as well if only for the fact that um it is yeah, I suddenly have a lot more health to play with at that stage. And with in combination with the uh, what do you call it? the two of hearts, it does make it really interesting actually. So I'm just gonna take a bunch more damage here. And call it like that. I could go to half a heart, but it doesn't really matter because we're gonna lose our negative in a second anyway. Mostly just doing this for consumables, really. Okay, so heal up everywhere. We suddenly have a lot more keys to play with, so we can just open up stuff, which is good. The Fool card is going to be good to get out of that curse room. There is a Hierophant over here as well, which I kind of want to get. Probably should have entered this room earlier, because the Bible's here. <laughs> and not sure if... Okay, yeah, the Bookworm transformation does affect this character as well, so that's good. Very good, very good, very good. All right, let us go grab some health all over the place. There is a chest here which we can open now without spending keys on it. So many, so many coins suddenly. <laughs> and I could get the half a heart in the boss room as well, but I don't think I'm gonna bother. So instead, let's go over here. One more black heart's pretty good. Okay, that just leaves one more key, a couple good cards over here, Hierophant, Fool, and Devil. I think two of hearts is worth, worth keeping. I'm gonna be able to heal up a lot of my red hearts in the bed 
uh, before the boss fight as well, so that's really good. So all in all, things are looking okay. Things are looking okay. Let's go. Haven't heard that sound in a bit. It's been a while for sure. On to Gehana. Or at least a variation thereof. This will clear the room. <laughs> I do love the way that looks. Get another red heart, get another gold chest. Really, uh, kind of almost disappointing amount of golden chests with that guppy's tail so far, which is odd. It's rare that you get so little, I feel, but yeah, fair enough. I think we can technically create bridges if we destroy these rocks, but we don't especially need to. There's a sun card right there, which is obviously better than a two of hearts and probably better than the Hierophant as well. A chaos card, which I don't think works against the beast, so that's unfortunate. Otherwise, I definitely would have taken that to speed up the process a bit. That's another red heart. Yeah, we have a lot of health to play with when we are going to fight the beast here, so that is looking very good. Uh, we could go in here, but we will not be able to see one of the two items, but we'll be able to see it on the way back. I'm not sure how my reflection works with Tech 10, if at all. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if it doesn't work, <laughs> so... I'm curious to see what the other item is. Ooh, and we got the um, succubus. This one right here, because we uh, took enough damage, so... I guess because I used that blood bag a hundred times, which... Again, I definitely forgot about... I, I frequently forget about... Getting familiars for taking damage, but I always end up doing some kind of shenaniganry to take the damage anyway, and it works out, but... I, it would probably be good if I actually remembered how Lilith works at any stage where I'm actually playing Lilith, because uh, doing it by accident every time I feel like isn't sustainable. Well, it shouldn't be sustainable, and yet it kind of is. It's very odd. It's odd how that works. Magician. Ooh. Ah, oh, that could be fun as well, though. Should I take Magician? Hmm. I mean, I would lose a substantial amount of health for doing so, but I think it would still not be terrible. It is still a range up, I think, and I have to assume that that does uh, effectively give us a lot more to work with. This is a... I should go into that challenge room as well, or well, maybe with the chaos card actually thinking about it. Because that could have another item inside. That is blocked. Really? Well, it, <laughs> it had an effect, but it didn't open it, unfortunately. Fair enough. I, I kind of thought that would work, but unfortunately not. There is a black heart waiting for me in my sacrifice room, which I could pick up at some stage, but I don't think I'm going to bother. I just don't really want to walk back. I'm just not feeling that today. This is usually kind of a puzzle in that you have to get that thing to open the, the things, but... Blah, 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 blah. Okay, uh, that's pretty good. It's a speed up, it's a slow down of everything else. Uh, 95 coin infamy, that's tempting, but unfortunately a little bit too expensive for my tastes. Uh, Ansu's not bad, Lovers... I'll use this here. I'm not sure if I have to use it specifically outside of the underground place, but I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, 95 coins. That is pretty pricey. <laughs> uh, I'm actually just going to put some coins into the donation machine thinking about it. Even if I put all my coins in, it's not going to explode, so that is kind of a nice thing. Ultimately couldn't, but still, it's, it's nice to have that safety available. This is a room. Not a scary room per se, but still, it's a room. Ooh, a golden key. At the very end of the floor. Uh, yeah, actually, I'll take that. Because I'm pretty sure I'm going to take full hearts of damage anyway, so I might as well. This room could have been scary had I not had many ways to fight the enemies here. Rather safely. All we need now is a Nod Leaf, and we have all the safety in the world. Fortunately, um... At least there is still the thing where, even though I have to sacrifice one of my cards to uh, do the thing, to get the cracked key, I still at least will uh, keep one of them, so that's pretty good. This is a damage up. I'm just kind of curious 
if this is gonna ruin my day. And I, I genuinely want to know is more the thing. It doesn't do anything. I mean, I think it's a shot speed up, which is worse. <laughs> so, really, I just made my build worse. That's that's what that's what I did. That's what I did. No, oh, well, it's still good enough for sure. But it's uh, I was kind of hoping it would make the the things like fly around a bit more, you know, like just sort of circle around me, which would obviously be ludicrously strong. But still, I would I would appreciate it. Oh, pajamas are not even that strong right now. They don't even show up. They don't even change my appearance. That's unfortunate. I like being blue, but unfortunately we have so many items that have a visual change to my character that there's nothing to see here. If only we had those 95 coins for infamy, I'd feel a lot safer as well, but I'm sure we'll be okay. Don't really need to explore any of these rooms any further than, than needed because it's just, it's all very safe. I don't, I'm not really looking for anything except for maybe an item room that I haven't picked up. I was thinking about that. Should I take this? I mean, it is a pretty significant speed down. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna bother. I mean, even though it is a little bit of extra safety with the sun card as well, I feel like the speed down just isn't worth it. If I was, if I was at max speed, I'd consider it for sure, but as it stands, I just... Uh, it's hard to say yes to that thing right there. It's just not great. But hopefully that will not be the reason of my demise. I am aware that there is a key there. I'm going to leave it. Uh, because, quite frankly, I feel confident that I do not need specifically that key with the 26 keys I currently still have available. Of course, it's not guaranteed. I might find a bombs are key pill and accidentally ruin my key amount. But ultimately, the only thing that picking up that key would do at that stage is uh, give me an extra bomb. So I guess that doesn't really matter either. I could do that to turn the key into another key. I need to remember I even have the game breaking bug because I... God, it is not something that is active, like actively in my memory at any point in the game. But it, it does have its uses. Downpour could be some interesting enemies here. Not frequently that you see the downpour floor after all. Didn't get a planetarium this time around either, but yeah, fair enough. Five more coins, pretty good. I need to remember to also just be near Succubus, I guess, for the extra damage, but it can be a little fiddly to try and follow Succubus around. Like, look at that, how interesting is that? Not sure what that, that enemy does, but... It's Ipecac Tears, that's what the enemy does. You could call that a lesson, but I'm sure that I've seen those enemies before on a different... Ascent, but it's been a it's been a while since I've done the beast. I guess it's uh, and like tainted the Zazel, I guess was the last one we we got. So there's a decent chance that even with my regular strategy of just not bothering to go down these floors, it's just a good chance that you haven't seen these places too much yet. All right, we're getting there. We got the cracked key. Uh, there's a Hagalaz rune, which I did say at some point in the run that I wouldn't have minded. So. There it was. At this stage, perhaps a little irrelevant, but still, it's nice that it was in the run at some point. The thing that I asked for did exist, I just forgot about it. I'll probably use this cracked key on a random door on the next floor. I don't think that you can get uh, super ultra secret rooms on the Ascent, but I'm not 100% sure. Strength is tempting, though. Also, I need to find my item room on this floor specifically, I guess. That's the thing I need to remember. But I'm sure we'll manage. I'm not sure where I'd like to use this cracked key thinking about it either, but... I could just try and attempt to get an ultra secret room if, it, if there is a chance of it appearing. I did once again get some more information on how to find them and genuinely... I don't think I fully understand. I'm tempted by this. How does this work? Does nothing. Okay, well, fair enough. I guess probably because I'm Lilith, but still, I, I wouldn't have minded if I did anything. I'm just gonna verify one more time that there uh, was actually another cracked key in here before I do it. There is indeed a cracked key in that room. So I am just going to open this, I think? 
Or was it this? I forget how it works. <laughs> I think that it has to be like... Like two red rooms need to be adjacent to it or something like that. And it's just, ugh, I'm just gonna put it over here. I wouldn't. I wouldn't be surprised if you can't even get a um, ultra secret room in this phase of the game anyway. But I'm just confused at this stage about the logic of it. And perhaps one day I'll feel confident about it. But truth be told, I just don't really care that much. It, it, and they're nice rooms for sure. When you get them, it's nice. It's a fun surprise. But I can live without them for sure as well. And that is how I'm going to live the rest of my life. Alright, we have sun, we have crack key. I do not need to sleep in the bed because my health situation's pretty okay. We're at home. Planetarium chance, that's pretty good. And more shot speed as well, so really one could call that a mistake. <laughs> Random soul heart. Yeah, my shot speed is real bad now. <laughs> but that's okay. We got Tainted Lilith, which is genuinely one of my favorite characters uh, along with every other character in the game I, I'm starting to realize but it is so fun it is such a fun character to play as so I'm happy about that zappity zap and onwards we go to dogma skip the intro because I'm not feeling it feeling pretty safe over here because I don't need to be in such a bad place yeah, a little brim is just so awkward to use. <laughs> I should dodge. Yeah. At least with this character specifically, attacking the TV isn't too bad, just because I, when I'm di diagonally away from that boss, then my followers are still in a good place. Come on, little brim, do all the damage you need. Yeah, that's, that's not bad, but... It just takes... So Look at how long it takes to charge compared to the other followers as well it's just ugh. and I feel like there's a decent chance that my tech 10 shots are probably dealing more damage than however much Lil Brim can do <laughs> realistically uh, but it's okay if anything we're gonna have a large quantity of friends during this fight and I can kind of appreciate that at least Every time we clear one of these, I don't know why half of my followers have fallen down because I didn't see them as the kind of followers that would fall down that way, but fair enough. Also, uh, I didn't retain my followers uh, that I duplicated between Dogma and this fight, which I thought you did. That's why I used the box of friends during the Dogma fight, really, but I guess it doesn't matter too much ultimately. In the end, we're still going to get a large quantity of friends anyway, so it's fine, I guess, but I want more friends. <laughs> there we go. That's a use. I'm oh, the battery actually recharged my item, so we ended up getting two charges there, which is good. We also now have a bunch of batteries to play with, so there is a decent chance we're just going to get some random extra uses out of that with all the extra batteries we're getting here, so that's nice. All in all, we're... yeah, we're just filling up the entire battlefield with all of our friends, and I, for one, can kind of appreciate it. Come on. Just one more charge, please. There we go. There's Super Meat Boy hanging out in the lava. Doing his best. I, for one, appreciate his presence, and that's what counts. Uh, I should just keep shooting. Doesn't really matter what I do at this stage, because the amount of damage that we're putting out is so high. Little Gish is slowing him down as well. Look at him go. And there's a bunch of batteries in the lava, which cannot be good for the environment. But, you know, it's what we need to do. I can throw a large amount of game-breaking bugs at the beast and maybe crash the game that way. That would be a fun little side effect that I would not be aware of, but... Would have been, it would be an interesting shock if it did happen, so... You kind of have to hope that it does just for the sake of me being surprised by something. But at the same time, I would be okay if that didn't happen, I suppose. Yeah, given that that boss didn't even have time to leave the room, I'm, I'm gonna... I think my damage is okay. It's kind of hard to see myself at times, I guess that is a little bit of an issue, but... I, I, I think it's still okay, you yeah. know? 
the, the rocks are getting destroyed by my followers as well without me having to dodge them, which is kind of a nice deal. Come on, game breaking bug. All right, they all landed into the beast and nothing happened, which is uh, an adequate thing to occur, I suppose. Do need to be careful. Oh, got an extra use because of all the little batteries. <laughs> got an extra use because of all the little batteries. <laughs> oh, Lilith, you ridiculous character for the beast boss fight specifically. Very good. We unlock that. And we now have access to another tainted character, namely Tainted Lilith. And it is... An interesting character for sure. But with that, we have defeated the beast once again. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Next time we play, we'll do another run as possibly Tainted Lilith, and I hope to see you all there. Bye-bye.